Jesus himself. He said, I've come to set you free. Now they argued with him about this. They said, we're not in bondage. He said, whoever commits sin is the slave to sin. He said, I've come to set you free. And he's talking about free from sin. Jesus came to redeem us, to make us whole. He is almighty God. He is almighty God. Jesus is almighty God. Hallelujah. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. All things were made by Him. And without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life. And the life was the light of men. And the light light shined in the darkness, but the darkness comprehended it not. But to as many as received Him, to them gave He power to become the sons of God. Glory to God. And then the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory of something only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Jesus is full of the truth, and He gave the truth. He came to tell people the truth. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You all get anything out of that? Hallelujah. (laughs) Glory to God. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these you might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that's in the world through lust. And beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith. Now you receive the promises of God by faith, right? Then it says, add these things to your faith. Be diligent about the things of God and add these things to your faith. Well, we already know we receive these things by faith, right? Amen. But add these things to your faith. Add to your faith virtue. Now the word virtue here means courage. In this place where it says virtue, it means courage. And to courage, knowledge, knowing. And you shall know the truth, yes. and the truth shall make you free. And to knowledge, temperance, which means self-control. Yes. Thank you, Lord. It also means keeping your temper under control. And to temperance, patience. Now this word patience means cheerful endurance. Cheerful endurance. Cheerful. God loves the cheerful Thank you, people. Lord. Yes. But he also loves someone who's patiently cheerful. Yes. Cheerful endurance. And to patience, godliness. That means holiness. And to holiness, brotherly kindness, or love of your brethren. And to brotherly kindness, uh, charity, which is agape. It's the love of God. Thank you. No scripture says, faith worketh by agape. Faith worketh by agape. Hallelujah. For if these things be in you, and abound. And abound. You need to add it. You need to make sure you walk in all these things. You know, Jesus taught his disciples about faith. Mark chapter 11. And he, he said, Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea. And shall not doubt in his heart, but believe those things which he says shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. Yes. Therefore, I say to you, what, uh, as you. And then the next verse says, What things wherever you desire when you pray. Yeah, that's right. Believe you receive them, and you shall have this. Then the next verse says, And as you stand, pray. If you have all against sin. If you have anything against anybody. When you're standing to receive something from God, he says, it says, Forgive them. If you have all against it, if it's against anybody. That's forgive right. them. So that your Father which is in heaven may also forgive you your trespass. In other words, if you want to receive by faith, not only do you have to believe God, not only do you have to have, have patience, but you have to forgive other people if you have anything against people. You understand what? That's God's word. That's Jesus is saying Amen. that. Yeah. Jesus said that. It is the truth. Jesus Amen. said that. Thank you, Lord. Jesus said that. I've heard Lord, people Lord. mock some of the things Jesus said. I've heard people. I heard a guy, a minister, one time said to me. Oh, I know. Narrow is the way. It's either to find it. I said, you know Jesus said that? He was mocking that. That thing. I said, Jesus said that. I thought, how dare you mock that? Jesus said that. Amen. Jesus said that. 
Jesus said that. Amen. Praise you, Father. Thank Glory you, to God. Lord. Glory to God. For if these things be in you and abound, they make you that you shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. In other words, if you will receive all those things and walk in that way, you can have everything from God. Hallelujah. You'll not be you'll not be in any kind of lack whatsoever. Thank you can receive everything you need that God has promised you. Yes. If you will do those things, and those things are abounding in your life, don't just have faith, have all those other things. Glory They're all God. important. Hallelujah. They're all important. Yes. They're all in this is the word of God. Amen. They're all important. Yes. Glory to God. He is mighty God. Thank you, Lord. He is mighty God. God is here. Isn't he? Hallelujah. Yeah. You thank get anything you, out of that? Amen. Yeah. Thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Well, thank Lord. you for your goodness, Lord. Hallelujah. In the book of Daniel. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God came and told Daniel some things. And then God, Daniel wanted to understand him, so he called out to God. He said, I really want to understand these, so he prayed to God. And, and, and he, then he fasted and prayed for 21 days, for three weeks. And finally, in three weeks, an angel shows up and says, the very first day you pray, God sent you. But he said, I was held back by demonic dominions, like the prince of Persia. Like there's de their dominions. The de you see, Satan has dominions in this earth. Because he is the God of this world. Yes. How did he get to be? Because man bowed his knee to Satan in the Garden of Eden. Yes. Paul said, and Jesus said, and Paul said also, whoever you yield your members to obey, that's whose servant you become. And so when, when man decides to do what the devil said instead of God, then man gave his dominion over his Satan. Yes. And then he became the God of this world. So there's principalities and powers in the air. The Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood. In other words, people are not your problem. But against principalities, powers, spiritual wickedness in high places. This earth is covered with spiritual wickedness. But greater is he that's in you than he yes. is in the world. And you Hallelujah. have authority over all those powers Thank of the devil. Lord. You have authority. When you pray, come against the power of darkness in Jesus' name. Yes. And they have to bow down because the name of Jesus yes. is mighty. And Jesus defeated the devil. Thank you, Lord. And he did it for you. And then he gave you his name. Amen. And now you have authority to use his name yes. against the devil. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 